Welcome everyone, Purple Sunday is here. Today I'll be drawing a hummingbird using aquarel pencils. I'll try to give you some tips as we go along the way. This is the image I used as a model, just found it through a simple search in Google. At first we will pick the colors that we think we will use on the drawing and later we'll try and make the basic shape of what it is we are drawing. You can notice that the colors that I use are not exactly the same as in the model. That's cause this is just a model, I use it just as, a, as inspiration. And actually I have the power to choose which colors will be in the drawing in the end. Now that the flower is done, we'll move on to the hummingbird. As you can see, first I marked the locations until where I think the bird is going to be. By that I mean its presumable location on our paper. Aquarels can't be erased that easy, so I'm trying to work very carefully. Again, as you see, I'm adding blues here and a lot of reds, which are not in the original model that I used. So, I think it's up to you which colors you use. It's really just a matter of taste. Now that we finished with the bird, we'll move on to the background. As you can see, I'm going easily and slowly around the shapes of the flower and the bird in order so that I don't go with the greens into the other objects. That way I can keep it clean and neat eventually. Also, a thing to keep in mind is to not leave white spaces. Try and put as much color as you can I mean, unless you want a, a white space, just like I left on the bird downstairs, because it's a matter of lighting. But all in all, the more color we, we put on the paper, the better, because later on, as we use the water to smudge and give the color life, it won't look as good with a lot of white spaces. Just giving some final touches, filling in, in some white spaces, preparing for the best part, the water. And now for the cherry on the top. Let's use the water to make the colors pop, bounce and look great. Oh no, the, f the focus got stumbled, I'm so sorry. It's very important not to put too much water or else it can smudge and ruin the entire, the entire painting. Also one thing that I think it's a, it's a mistake is uh, as long as you are focused on one color, you should try and make it in one swoop without uh, like changing uh, brushes in the middle or something like that because then it can give an effect of a halo around the object. You will see in the end, I, uh, I seen a little bit, in here, here it is, I used the small brush to outline the flower and the bird. It kind of ruined it because I couldn't remove the halo from the flower, but it's not the end of the world, it's still okay. Of course I tried to do it so that the green will not get into the flower or into the bird, so I don't know, you decide which is better. To have a halo 
or or to risk and uh, smudge a little paint to, to the other object. Also keep in mind when you're moving between objects you should clean your brush because it will smell colors across. I mean after I did the green I have to clean my brush with water and then dry it just in order so that the flower will not take the green. Of course you can save time by having a lot of different brushes at, at hand. While doing the bird I kept cleaning my brush every, every color that I switched. What I'm trying to do now is kind of level up, balance and maybe try and remove the halo effect and the whites that seem out of place. It worked some, somehow, it somewhat worked, I don't know. It, it's okay, it's not perfect. I can't believe it happens twice in the same video. It makes me so sad. I'm sorry people. I gotta figure out this focus thing. Just giving it one more final brush to try and balance out the background. And voila, you tell me what you think about our practice with the hummingbird and aquarel pencils. I think it's quite okay. I'm going to keep it. Well then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Until next time, have a nice day.